Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have some more news on the eruption, and it was something in the news today, and I thought it was just really interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you. It's going to be a quick video, just a few things, but we have here a image or some data from a Sentinel-5P satellite, which shows the gas emissions that have resulted from the eruption. Now, Looking at this, it clearly shows how far this gas is actually going away from, from the island. And it's the sulfur gas, from what I've read, it's the sulfur gas that you're seeing here in the red, obviously being the most concentrated and moving forward. This image was taken on Saturday, so it's you know a couple days old. It takes a little bit of time, I guess, to get these here. But it really does show how far the gas pollution can spread beyond the country. Now, they're saying that it's around 450 kilometers south of the eruption site. So that's what you can see here is going all the way down to the bottom. So one other thing I wanted to take a look at, and it's been on my mind to do a video about this, but I just don't have enough knowledge to get really deep into it. So hoping that some people watching this have a little bit more information is this graph here of factor adjustment. Now, what we're looking at is... The, the graph shows the average vertical motion of a seismometer per minute at three different frequency ranges, which are in hertz. Now, the vertical scale represents a change in output. They're saying that many things can cause the movement, and the most common causes are weather, surf, and traffic. But you can sometimes see changes because of eruptions and glacial flows. Now, what I'm wondering is this chart, if you've watched some of the live streams, I had this up before, it used to look much more like this total random one that I found, which is Ripnefetten. And they have tons of these charts on the Meteorological Office's website, so you can take a look at these. But this is what Fagrotspet chart looked like for a, a, an extended period of time. And then recently, when the magma started changing and the lava started coming out at intervals in a higher volume, we got this. And we can see it's the 2 to 4 hertz that is, is really changed. You can see some of the, this green here in the 1 to 2 hertz. I mean, you know, but I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I don't know what this means. Does this mean that there's just more ground activity, more eruptions, or an intense eruption imminent? I know that this eruption, they're saying typically <laughs> they slow down, and this one is seeming... To speed up some comments are saying that maybe this is going to turn into some super volcano i'm not sure we want to go there but it's uh it's definitely a unique situation so i want to do a quick video just kind of get all this in front of all of you wonderful people out there who have liked and subscribed to these videos this whole time and uh, get some comments you know what does this graph mean what does it mean about the sulfur i mean Iceland's pretty isolated in the middle of the ocean here so i think we're kind of okay with that sulfur going out into the ocean but the uh yeah i think we're gonna be okay with this you can see how much it spread though it's really unbelievable so let me know about the graph let me know what you think about the sulfur stuff and until next time thank you so much for watching